Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Tristan. I'm from UtahSEO.Ninja. For those of you who are joining us for the very first time, welcome. We are a small digital marketing agency. We're based here in the great state of Utah. And one of the things that we do every year is we provide Weebly tutorials. And so we like to go in like really in depth and like look at all the cool different things that we can do and put together. And so uh, normally we do these tutorials. We try to do one per year. So like we had the Weebly tutorials 2016, which uh, you can find here on YouTube. But since Weebly decided to go ahead and release Weebly 4 a little bit early, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start doing these tutorials early. So I might say Weebly tutorial 2017, even though technically we're still in September, it's the same basic concept. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, this first video is actually going to be kind of the boring stuff. It's really, really important if you want to really take your website seriously, if you really want to take your business seriously and turn it into something that's going to be really effective and actually get traffic on it. But this is also the boring part of the job, and so I know that a lot of people aren't going to be as interested in this, so I want to make sure that I have this part here on as part of the tutorial. But again, I know that not a lot of people are going to be super interested in this part, so that's why I'm going to be doing it separately. So in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to be purchasing our domain, but we're not just going to get any domain. We're going to get a special domain. We are also going to, let me check my notes, uh, we're going to be setting up our HostGator hosting for our Weebly site. Now, some people probably think, why pay extra for extra hosting? It's a lot of good reasons for it. We'll get to that in just a second. We're also going to set up our Weebly accounts. We're going to be using a pro business plan. We're also going to be setting up our name server so that way our Weebly and our HostGator are actually going to be cooperating together. So I'm going to put on some music which you guys can't listen to because YouTube doesn't like sharing ad revenue from music and stuff. But uh, you'll get to listen to me while I do all of this. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to switch screens. So the first thing we want to do is we're actually going to purchase what's called an expired domain. Now, whenever we're setting up these different websites, there's basically two different ways that we can get the domain. You can either register a brand new domain, which is like a blank slate you're starting from scratch, or you can get an expired domain, which already has some authority in Google. It already has some history with Google, and it's going to be easier to rank that domain. So an expired domain is what you get when um, you don't pay your yearly renewal fee for your domain and that domain then goes back into the public pool and anybody can get it. And so there, and so what people do is they will actually sit and crawl through all those different domains that are available looking for expired domains and they look for those expired domains that have quality backlinks that have been around for a long time and things like that. And the reason that we do this is it kind of gives us a jump start when we're setting up our websites. So we're able to go straight to, you know, having, you know, good backlinks we're already having like a history with Google mm -hmm. and like I said it just makes everything easier now you can still go out and get your own domains and purchase them however you like but um, like I said you're gonna be starting from scratch and you're gonna be starting from a little bit further behind as compared to doing something like this and if you want to you can still purchase one of these domains you'll just want to set up a 301 and have that redirect to your brand new domain and that way you can still take advantage of some of that uh, some of that history that it has with Google it just won't be quite as effective so that's the first thing that I suggest is to get one of these domains. So I already have my domain set up and what we're going to do next is we're going to get hosting for that domain and we also need to register it. So I like doing that through HostGator. So the domain that we picked up is mantastic.online and this should say that it's no longer available because I own it. Cool. And what we're going to be doing with this particular website uh, based on the poll results from our last video is we're actually going to be turning this into a Shopify slash Amazon slash drop shipping store. And so I was thinking about, you know, what is something that I want to buy right now? And I'm not sure if you guys noticed in the beginning of this video when I had the webcam turned on, my office is a little drab. And so I was looking for things that I can put in my office that would be really cool, like cool decorations, you know, just guy stuff. And so that's kind of what I have in mind for this particular website. And um, so I got lucky when I had, when I came across that domain. So I already registered it here. Normally what will happen is I uh, will say like this one right here. We'll just hit add to cart. They're going to come over here and then you can pay for it and things like that. I also have a coupon if you guys are interested. The normal coupon is um, it's, uh, $5.05. 5 Mine is $10. And again, that, there will be a link to that in the description. Uh, I think that it's like Tristan SEO or something like that. So once we have that set up, we're going to purchase our domain. I've already purchased this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to where it says manage domains. You'll need to log into your account. And here is our domain right here. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to want to change our name servers. 
So the way that we do this is we just click this right here and the name servers are something we're gonna get over here from Weebly. So once you've created your Weebly account and you're ready to start building your first website, the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you to choose a theme. And so we have a whole bunch of new themes that just came out with this uh, Weebly 4. We are actually going to be using a custom theme which we'll be showing you guys in another video. And those are really cool by the way. So uh, just for the time being, we're just gonna pick this first one because we're not really picky, we just need the name server information. Okay. Alright, so next thing that we're going to see is this little window right here and this is what we're going to do to set up our domain. So we actually already have our domain so we are going to click down here where it says connected domain you already own and so we're going to do this by mantastic.online. You can register your own domain as well. You can also set up your own, dot, uh, your own Weebly subdomain. Usually this option is free. This one, you know, you're going to have to pay for it. I like this option but that's just me. And then this is the next thing that we get to do. Uh, we get to set this part up. And like I said, this is kind of the boring part, but uh, it's not too bad. So what we need to do is we need to redirect the domain from our HostGator account to here. And so to do that, we're just gonna grab this information right down here. And we just need to create two A records. So that's really, really easy to do. First thing we need to do is we need to go to our C panel. It's a control panel for our website. And it looks like this. And the way that you do that is really easy. You just go to the domain that you've set up, mantastic.online slash C panel, like control panel. And then we'll get to set all of this up. So that part will take a little bit of time to set up. That's um, not something we're super worried about right now. So once you're able to log in, then what you want to do is you want to come down to where it says domains. And then you want where it says advanced DNS zone editor. So I know it says advanced, don't freak out, it's not a big deal. We're just gonna come down here and find our domain. Where'd you go? Here you are. Cool. And so we're going to copy this. Just copy that. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to find the root domain, which is usually identified by an at symbol or a star symbol. See if we have that over here, and we don't. So if we don't have it, what we're going to do is we're gonna go like this, at or just star and then like that all right so there's one and then the other thing it said we need to do is the www version so we're gonna check and see if we have the www already I think we already do but we're just gonna go like this so it's already matching, so that's this one right here. We're going to delete this one. Now we're good. Add that in, and done. Now if you're trying to get to your cPanel and you just see this screen right here, what you'll need to do is you'll need to come back over here to your domain uh, section of your HostGator account. Come over here to where it says Manage Domains. Find the domain that you want to edit. Click that right here. And we need to change this part right here where it says name servers. And you'll need to make sure you have your hosting account. So what we're gonna do, we'll just click on that, tell it to save. And keep in mind that this right here, it takes 24 to 48 hours for everything to be updated. So if you don't notice it going right off the bat, no, that's, that's probably why. Just give it a little bit of time for everything to update. So while we're waiting for this to update, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back and work on our website. So we got all this set up. Go ahead and close this. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we have this account set up for a pro account because that's gonna allow us to use all the features that we want. So here are the pricing plans if you, for Weebly. Uh, just to give you an idea of the different things that you guys can get and you know, sign up and everything like that. A lot of these features we're actually gonna be imitating with other programs. So like we don't need email marketing. We don't need, um, we're not gonna be using membership or registration on our site at all. We're not gonna be using like all these digital good products over here, we're actually not gonna be using those either because we're going to be imitating that using Shopify and Amazon and through PayPal. So again, not really a big deal for us. Uh, in this particular case, we're actually gonna be going with the business plan. And the reason why is because this will let us do a monthly plan instead of paying six months at a time. So it's actually a little bit cheaper for us at the beginning, but um, you know, choose the plan that works best for you. And this performance plan is actually brand new. They just added this one in. So we're gonna go ahead and choose business, and we're gonna pay for that real quick. Okay, and we are now set up. Yay! 
Okay, so again, this is just a second to reload, close that, and we are good. All right, and then from here, all we got to do is we're just going to start building our website. So again, in this particular video, all I really wanted to do was show you guys how we set these different things up. So let me explain the reason that we decided to take these steps real quick, and I probably should have been doing this as we were going. So I did mention the reason that we wanted to buy an expired domain and the reason that we we're buying that for Mr. Ortiz was because it allows us to get a huge jump start on the ranking of our website and actually getting traffic to it. Because why are we going to be building a store if we're not actually going to get any people to visit the store and to purchase the products that we're uploading, right? I mean, just it makes sense. The reason that we decided to go with HostGator at, to host our website as compared to hosting it straight with Weebly is because it gives us access to a couple of other really neat functions. So if we head back over here to our cPanel real quick, let's go ahead and hit home. We can now, for example, come over here to where it says email accounts. And we're just going to say Tristan at mantastic.online, right? I'm going to give myself a little password and set that to unlimited. Whoops, wrong button. There it goes. Cool. We just created an email account for this website. So you can send an email to Tristan at mantastic.online, and that's an email. I will actually receive that. So what's neat about this is if you were to try to do this with Weebly, you can set up email accounts, but they will charge you for it. In fact, I think they charge like $5 a month per email, but you can do this for free, and you can have all the email accounts you want. We can just make numbers, you know, number one at mantastic.online and go all the way up to like a billion and we'll be fine. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is because this gives us a lot more control over what's actually going to be on the website. So if you have like other forms you want to add in, if you want to add a subdomain, if you want to upload files to, you know, to your domain, to your server, then you can do that whenever you want. You can change those files whenever you want. And so that's one of the other really nice things about this. And you can do that over here by clicking on your file manager. You can do that right here. If you ever decide that you want to switch out of Weebly, say you've outgrown Weebly for your website, and you want to move on to something like WordPress, well, you can come down here to your quick install, and you can switch over to WordPress in just a second. In fact, here's a WordPress self-help tool. So you can do all that. So by having a HostGator account, you actually get a free account here in Attractor, which is another very powerful tool that helps you to build up the authority of your website and rank higher in Google. And this, again, will help you get more traffic. More traffic means more sales. More sales means more money. And so we're going to be paying an extra like $4 a month to set up our website through HostGator. But the benefits that we're going to get out of that are extensive. And like I said, it's an extra step. It's a couple extra steps. But it's a huge benefit, and especially if we're trying to really take this and turn it into something, you know, long term, not just, you know, trying to set it up and then seeing what happens. And again, like I said, the other nice thing about this is if you ever decide that you want to switch, you know, website design or things like that, all you have to do is come in here and you do it. You have access to all of that, as compared to trying to, you know, set up your domain in Weebly and then transfer it out later. You know, they'll probably charge you some money to transfer your domain off of their servers. And I've seen those charges go everywhere from, you know, some of them will do it for free. Some people will pay for your migration. Some people will charge you 50 bucks for it. Some people charge $100 to transfer your domain from one provider to another. And I think Weebly's, I forget how much Weebly charges. But it is definitely a, um, it's something you have to keep in mind. And it can be expensive. So that's the reason that we decided to go this route. Um, the reason that we're going with the business account on here, like I said, is because we're going to be doing a monthly payment. So that way, as soon as I'm finished doing the design and everything that I plan to do for this particular website, then I'll be able to take it back down to a smaller or maybe even that one of the free options. And it'll still be kind of useful, but I'm mostly just building this as part of the tutorial. I don't know if I'm actually going to try and invest a lot of real energy or resources into this particular site because I already have several of these and I don't need any more. So that's the reason that we're going with that particular route. And again, I do actually have a coupon for Weebly as well. If you guys decide that you want to use that, it'll give you an extra $10 off. You may have noticed that when I was setting up my account, it gave me a $10 credit. You guys can get the same $10 credit if you decide to use this coupon. And again, that will be in the description. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's, 
that's the boring part after this we get to start doing design and we're gonna set up all the other stuff but um, like I said it's this is really really important if you really want your website if you really want your Weebly store to be a long-term and worthwhile investment like I said I know this is the boring part I know that a lot of people don't care about this but it's really really important if you are trying to do this seriously and if you really want to make money from it so I will go ahead and end this video here because I don't know what else I can show you guys but uh, we'll be releasing the next part of this video here really soon so that way you guys can get started with the actual design of your website and we're going to do that so yeah see you in just a little bit